Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my two month update for the project Let's Get Loose. This is a Pantastic Ladies project and it is focused entirely on loose makeup products, something I have way too many of and I'm very excited to finally be working on. It's definitely a category that I've kind of avoided for many years of project panning, like I just didn't want to deal with it, kind of intimidated by my loose makeup products, but this project was the perfect reason to finally face my fears and deal with some of this loose makeup I own. This project was created by a painter named Russell. And so thank you for creating this project. I've been having a lot of fun. As you guys know, I did buy a scale just for this project alone so that we could kind of track my progress and you guys gave me a lot of helpful tips last month. For example, many of you said you prefer that I measure these products in grams rather than ounces. So I've converted everything. You guys also taught me little things like, oh, you know, how to read decimals. Apparently a skill that I've forgotten along the way. I don't know, I guess it's one of those things. If you don't use it, you lose it because somewhere along the line, I forgot how to read decimals. And uh, that's a little embarrassing, but thank you guys for helping me, you know, jog that part of my brain that has since like shriveled up like a little raisin and has not been used once in a long long time so let's see if i can get through this video today without screwing up the math the other thing you guys mentioned was that you'd like me to insert pictures so obviously i don't have pictures from last month to compare to this month but i did start taking pictures of everything today so that from here moving forward we can start I can show you guys comparison photos. I hope that will be helpful to you guys. Sometimes when we're throwing all these numbers around in videos, our eyes kind of glaze over. So I do agree that it's a good idea to have pictures, but unfortunately I didn't take any pictures last month. So moving forward, I will have pictures to show you guys. So I am working on six products and this project is rolling. So if I could finish one of these products, I could roll something new in. We could set whatever goal we wanted for these products, but I set the goal to actually finish all of them, at least for now. That might change down the road, but for now the goal is to finish all of them. Some I see that potentially happening. Others, I don't imagine it's gonna work out that way, but we will see, it's all very exciting. The first product is my translucent powder from Makeup Forever. This consistently has been the product I've been using the most. I definitely think it'll be the first product I finish out of all of these. And um, I don't wanna say I love it or I'm enjoying it, but it's nice to see it going quickly and it's not a bother. I don't mind it. It's just so much easier to reach for a pan of pressed powder. I don't understand why anybody would choose this over a pan of pressed powder, but um, maybe it's cause it's in this itty bitty container and that makes it a little bit more difficult than if it was in like a bigger jar. But I did make progress on this. This product went down a little over three tenths of a gram, which is pretty consistent with the amount of progress I made last month. I'm not using this product every single day of the month. It would probably be about twice as much progress if I was, because I think I'm only using this about half of the time. But I'm happy with the progress and I am able to see that this is really like shrinking down in the jar and that's motivating me also. So this is going to be the first one I finish and I'm really excited about it. Yep, it's going well. My next product is my sample size of Bare Minerals Warmth. This is a tiny size. Their full size product comes in a much larger container, but I wanted to tackle this before I tackled the full size, which I do also have because I was, again, intimidated and frightened by this product. So um, unfortunately, I'm also panning two other bronzers right now. One's in a project that ends on April 15th. So that one has been getting the majority of my attention. Also, I feel like this is a little bit dark. I am wearing it today. I'm wearing all of these products today, but I feel like this is a little bit dark for me right now and it'll be much better suited for me in the warmer months when I have a little bit more color on my skin but I do feel like I was able to wear it today. I mean, it's it's fine. I just have to be a little bit more careful. So this went down very, very little, but it did go down. I only used it a couple of times, but it went down uh, five hundredths of a gram. That's it, five hundredths of a gram, not much. 
Um, but there is progress and I'm happy. <laughs> I'll take it. I think this will really start getting used after April 15th. Okay, this is my blush. Again, this is a sample size. This is not a full size package. I went for the smallest blush I had. This is the shade True Beauty and I, I'm wearing it today. It's a beautiful shade. I like it a lot and I have been trying to reach for this as much as possible. Um, still not 30 days out of the month, but I did reach for this a lot more. I think I reached for this much more this past month that I did between January and February. So I, I am trying again. I think this will be the second product I finished out of these six. I think this will be the one I finished second. This only went down five tenths of a gram. So not much, but I'm happy it went down. Again, I'm just looking for any progress. That's the whole point of weighing it. Just anything to say that this is moving in some direction because um, otherwise, I think I would get frustrated with this project, but there's progress and I'm happy with it. Okay, this next one comes with a story. This is another Bare Minerals product. It is the shade Pure Radiance and it's kind of like a glowy finishing powder. And um, I have used this several times, maybe like seven in the past month. But I think I mentioned this last month, but I also have this eyeshadow in this project. This is the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in Mink Pearl. And this packaging is just not working for me. And I've been using this as a brow bone highlight. I'm wearing it today as a brow bone highlight and a, a face highlight. I'm wearing this as kind of an all over setting powder. I am just glowing everywhere thanks to these two products. But because I'm having such a difficult time with this packaging, what I do is I take the lid off of this package and I kind of like tap it in well, twice. I tapped in way too much product. And so when I was done with my makeup, I just added it into this. So sadly, I'm not too surprised to hear that this weight actually went up. Um, I would be disappointed, but ultimately this is going to end up in here. I mean, I just cannot use this. And the numbers for this did go down much more than it should have, but I know where it went. It's in here. So despite the fact that I used this like seven times, this went up in weight by one tenth of a gram. I mean, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. I I'll make it up. I'll get this down again. I am quite confident I will get this weight back down again. So it did go up though. Next is my single eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Honor, and it's just kind of a pretty shimmery pink. I have it on my eyelid today on top of Max Cranberry. Um, so you can see it there. And that's kind of how I've been preferring to use this. I like the effect that it has on top of Max Cranberry, which is a shade, um, I don't know, I'm not crazy about Max Cranberry all on its own. I like to put something shimmery on top of my eyelid. Uh, to kind of change it up a little and this is good for that. So I did use this a few times in the past month. It only went down by six hundredths. So very tiny progress, but progress. And then finally I have, of course, my NYX Pearl Mania. And this went down way more than it should have because it poured into that other one. So this one's now down by three tenths of a gram, which is like I said, way more than I actually used up, but I know where it is. It's sitting inside of that container over there. I should subtract that. That's three tenths of a gram, and that went up by one tenth, right? So this went up by one tenth of a gram, and this one went down by three tenths of a gram. So, I don't know. Well, it'll all sort itself out in the end. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I think you guys can now see math is kind of hard for me. It's been a long time since I've crunched these kind of numbers. It's not really a part of my job. So, you know, I'm struggling with the maths. But anyways, I'm really happy with my progress over this past month. I have been trying to incorporate these products as much as possible into my um, makeup routine. I, like I said, I am wearing all of the products today and um, I think they look great. And I'm really excited at the thought that I might finish some of these up. I don't think I'll finish all of them up this year, but I do think I'll finish some of them up and I'm really excited. Um, so yes, that is my update for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.
Bye.